Hopefully it goes up tonight. I'm not in the mood to get pranked. It's a Faye channel. Oh, fuck. This is hype. <laughs> Hold on. I wasn't ready for this. I got to <laughs> This is cool. All right, let's do it. Faye channel. We got a whole Faye channel. I need. I'm looking at the. Oh, is that the map of Tellius on the left there? It is, right? Yeah, it totally is. Oh, that's Emblem. Oh, shit. And Asker. <laughs> Punch the shit out of her. <laughs> Good going, Alphonse. Yeah, that was exciting. But I didn't think there we'd see uh, Asker so soon. Bonus. Asker's got like a big cowbell staff. Active period, you can get the item had to kill her to summon her. It had to be done. That's the rules. It looks like we'll be hosting a series of summoning events to celebrate the release of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Three heroes from oh, the shit. Fire Emblem Three Houses game will be featured in each summoning event. Please note that these events are they will increased only feature rates? heroes from the Academy Arc. It's not all. Presenting the A Hero Rises Wait, Garland Moon Cup event. Just like the celebratory summoning focuses we covered, this event features heroes from the Academy Arc of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, this is fun. The hero who receives the most votes will be gifted to all Fire Emblem Heroes players after the event ends. I hear you can even get special wallpapers just for voting. So get out there and do your part. That's fun. I wouldn't mind getting in on the action myself. Yeah, probably for you. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm tougher than I thought. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, uh, before or, I get or like to do, away, right? I don't know. All right, here we go. It's oh, I thought Delius. <laughs> From the Fire Emblem, the Blazing Blade game. Uh, okay, uh, that's Fire Emblem Seven, right? We have Guy on the right, right? Uh, I see Sane and Kent, right? I don't know who it is in the middle. I don't know who it is on the left either. First up, it's Sane, but I'm sure you'll warm up to him in no time. We've got a Perf Lance. Oh, Kent looks cool. Is this a demo? Weird. If he wasn't a demote, he would have attack speed bond four instead. I think he's a demote. It's Gi. A K warrior proudly defends his own. I really want to see how they pronounce his name. This guy is Gi. Okay, there we go. He hails from the Katola tribe of Sakai, but he left his bow wielding brethren behind to pursue his dream. Of this looks like another demote. Swordsman. I hear he absolutely idolizes Carol. Going so far as to call him his master and I like the attack man. art for Gi, not so much the neutral art. As oh. As my as you can that see, looks really their cool. beauty is striking, and they have a mysterious air about them. Is this a GHP? I signed it for Rivia. Just like Lynn. Nani. Here we have Florina. She's taken up the art of archery that her close friend Lynn is so famous for. Her outfit is themed on the plains of Sakai. The bows are infectious. Style. Oh, I can't wait to see how high this Please, Pegasus riding knight will ascend. Lurinia finally has a strong alt. Oh shit. It is Letizia. So does the banner have both a mythic Kent. and ascended? Florina yeah. and Letizia. Pretty cool. Will appear in the book six I like it. Point, Letizia and more summoning event. You can earn two copies of Gi by clearing quests. So he's like the direct emote. And Lim Stella will join your barracks after you clear their grand hero battle. Oh wait, Kent's on the banner. How is I Kent hope... a banner unit? His skills suck. That's so strange. He only has attack speed bond three, unless that, unless that just wasn't accurate what they showed in the gameplay section. This time around, we'll be making some changes to Aether raids. Oh no. Please just get rid of it. Hey, Loki! Chaos! But all elements. During the oh, Is Yuna getting a remix it this looks month? Like legendary and mythic effects will be disabled during the season, so you'll definitely have to rethink how you approach your battles. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that back real quick. Oh, I missed it. Looks it looks like legendary and mythic effects will be disabled during the season, 
So you'll definitely have to rethink how you approach your Legendary maps. and mythic effects will be disabled. Is that in terms of scoring? I wonder what this is about. So you can just use whatever team you want. <gasps> Faye! All of the heroes from version 1 are bonus allies! Oh. You know who's version it 1 like is, uh, works a little differently Brave Ike. Too. <laughs> There's a note here. Special restrictions will be set, such as a limit to one singer and one hero with savior. It's kind of odd. The limitation on singers is kind of odd, because like that implies that it's like a player phase team, which is usually a harder a well strategy. Team of well -balanced heroes. Chaos dropping on June 21st, watch Until out. Then, check out these new terrain options. Oh, As you can see, that's cool. They're based on Hell, the Realm of the Dead, Neath of Alir, the Realm of Devurger, and other pretty recognizable locations. You can use them during the standard Aether Raid seasons too. Nice. It's not just Aether Raids though. The Aether Resort is You can have your resort in Hell now. Types of terrain as well. <laughs> so they got a little baby Fae channel for our troubles. I'm satisfied, more or less. I'm kind of glad they didn't add like a new game mode. <laughs> There's a lot of game modes in the game already. All right, what should we look at first? Uh, I guess the banner is like the biggest part, right? Yeah, we can start from the beginning. Okay, so there's Zembla. <laughs> and there's Asker. Asker reminds me a bit of Sumeragi, but it's been a while since I've actually seen Sumeragi, so who knows? All right, then we just have book six midpoint stuff, celebrations, three orbs, love it. <laughs> Wow, six stamina potions. Please play as entrance. <laughs> there you go. Oh, is that true? Limstella has a an NBVA? That's pretty cool. This is Pride Month after all. <laughs> That's great. Book six stuff, we have Three Hopes maps, but not characters, not yet. But then we also have these like daily summoning events, but they don't have increased rate or anything. So I guess it's just a bunch of, of free summons. Oh, there's some seasonals on here, actually. Let's see. Summer Mercedes, Winter Hilda, Halloween Rhea. Wow, these banners, probably a much better way to summon these units, right? Because usually they'd be on four hero or four unit banners. Pretty sure if they specifically use they them when talking about Limcell too, yeah. And you can spark on all these, that's also true, yeah. So if you happen to be have you happen to be merging any of these characters in, this is actually a pretty good opportunity. They're not increased rate, but it is only three units on the banner, which is which is better for your odds. Yeah, Winter Bernie. Oh shit. Marianne. A lot of good units here. Oh, is that? Oh, that's regular Sothis. I thought that might have been Winter Sothis. No, yeah, that's regular Sothis, because Winter Sothis is over here. Wow, Sothis? Sothis on a 3-unit, 3% banner. Actually pretty good. I don't know if that's better than Hero Fest rates, but this is pretty good. Oh, isn't she color sharing with red? Violet and Sothis color sharing. Yeah. That's, that's a really good banner, though. We can spark on each and every one of them. If you... Wait, but doesn't that mean that you can get, like, a ton of the... Whatever they're called? I can never rem remember what they're called. The Celestial Stones? You can get, like... 13 Celestial Stones. Yeah, so this is too for fine. In the relatively near future. If you sparked on every banner, yeah. <laughs> I guess at that point, if you can afford to spark on every banner, then the rewards you get from the Celestial Stones aren't that attractive to you, because you can just buy whatever you want, for the most part. So this is interesting. So this is basically Hero Rises, but it's limited to just pre-time skip units. Hero who receives the most votes will be given to all players, yep. Yeah, so free Yuri, probably. I can't think of anybody else who would stand a chance. So this would usually be like a pretty good choice, but come on, Yuri. We have our new Heroes banner, 
Well, I probably won't do a separate reaction video for the the banner trailer. Sane is a cavalry lance. He's got flow refresh and speed defense catch. That's a new skill. Looks like he has really high attack. And rally up attack. He's got Kanto too. Looks like. Or I should say Kanto as well, not necessarily Kanto too. So his perf gets from Kanto. I feel like every cavalry unit that has a perf gets Kanto now. Almost everyone. Kent. Looks good. I like his art a lot. It's just, uh... His skills are... Suspect. Oh, actually, maybe he is the demo. Because the banner is, a uh, Is sane. Oh, yeah, okay. He's, he's gotta be the demo. Okay. Because the other three units are all... Obviously not the demo. So there we go. We got attack speed, bond three, and speed defense snag. New repo fodder. That's the most important part. Yeah, allied sword will be interesting. Inheritable swords. We've gotten a few good ones. Isn't there the one that has like an impact effect? Karen's up and put a sword. Oh, I forgot what that even was. I'd have to go look it up. Joint Tribe Attack Defense? Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Not, like, game-changing, but... Gi is also here. Gi has another Inheritable Sword. We're getting two Inheritable Swords at once. On two, three, four-star units. That's kind of interesting. I like it. Vulture Blade. We don't know what that does, but... Uh, we might be able to figure it out based on his Which combat here. Wielding brethren behind to pursue his... It looks like it might inflict attack defense. Minus 5. Otherwise his skills are okay. He has 43 base speed. That's pretty good. With life and death, you guys subtract 5. Limstel looks really good. This is a really good art for them. Uh, they, they look like a Castlevania character. About them. So Limstel get a purr. Me to keep my distance for my own good. Be gone. As an artificially made creation of Nurgle... Their interests lie solely in carrying out his orders. Yeah, that was, um, that was a uh, Thimblevetter, right? More Thimblevetter. Oh, he's got, or they, they've got pretty good skills, actually. Defense, rest form, and sabotage attack. Sabotage attack is already on a couple units, I believe. But we'll take it. So a bulky green mage with a perf. Potentially pretty good. Solid bulk. I like how we keep on getting Nurgle's Murphs. Mur Murphs? Smurfs? Before Nurgle himself. The lack of Nurgle is a little weird. I don't know if he's like Mythic Hero or Legendary. No, not Legendary Mythic Hero tier, but. Ascended Florinia is a weird one. I think I saw people talking in the subreddit about how FE7 doesn't have that many candidates for an Ascended Hero. Usually Nino would be a pretty good choice, but we already have Ascended Nino from Book 2, right? Giga Nino. So we can't do that. Yeah, Farini is a good choice, I guess. She's pretty popular. I almost wish they just kept her a, a Lance Flyer, but that's a pretty saturated class. We got Attack Speed Push 4, classic. That's Defense... At speed defense far trace, right? Yeah. And joint drive speed. Looks like 43 speed. Do one attack. So her attack side is still like relatively low compared to modern units, but I'm sure her perf makes up for that. Her outfit is themed on She's got dragon effective or fl oh, flyer effective dirt. So <laughs> Who would have guessed that the bait unit would have a trace skill and attack speed push four? That's never happened before, you're right. We got attack res catch, attack res far trace, and attack res rouse four. So it's pretty good. Very low speed. I forget if she gets an auto double or not. The order of heroes. Looks like she does. So she'll be a good unit. And she is a mythic hero, right? I, uh, oh, yeah, what, yeah what, what element is she? I don't think she's a mythic hero. Otherwise, it would show it here, right? She's normal? But she looks like a promising ally That's so weird. So do we, do we just not get a midpoint mythic this time? Sane, Kent, 
Florina, and Letizia. That's so weird. <laughs> here in the book six midpoint. And the banner is still called Letizia and more. That's okay. That's strange. It's been a while since like a main story character was just dropped into the main pool, right? That would have been like Surtur and Ilgur. I can't think of any others. She got the moose butt treatment. It's even weirder because she was in the main story. I hope she doesn't die. It'd be cool if she joined the party or something. The first part of book six really revolved around her, so it'd be weird if she just died, like, right now. Yeah, th that line from Faye was odd. She's right out of Fire Emblem Heroes. You guys heard of that game? Okay, well, the fact that Letizia is not a mythic is very strange to me. It makes the banner less enticing, for sure. It's okay. Letizia is just a bootleg tracer anyway. I don't think I'll be summoning on this. Personally, I'm going to keep saving orbs. I'm kind of mad. So, okay, the reason why I thought this was Tellius is because I was looking at it really hard. And I saw this island down here. And I was like, oh, that's uh, Phoenicius or whatever it's called. That's the bird island. So it's got to be Tellius. <laughs> I actually don't know what this island is. All right, next we have Chaos Season. Yeah, without, without Mythic Letizia, it's not as interesting. It's interesting that they actually broke their tradition of having the midpoint unit being a Mythic. It's very rare that they do something that they didn't do the same way the previous year. Speaking of Mythics, Chaos Season sounds kind of annoying, honestly, but we'll see. There's some interesting ideas here, like the release version bonus heroes. I like that because they all get bonus stats, right? So that just makes all those units more usable. It's a little strange that it is going to cycle all the way through book 6, probably. Because those units don't need the buff as much. We don't know how frequently this will happen, though. The first one is June 21st. So even now, it's a couple weeks away. New terrains added, so these are kind of interesting. I think this middle one could see a lot of use, because people will put the fortress on either the left side or right side. And so you can kind of funnel your opponent down like this middle part. New Ether Resort terrains. I kind of like this Neovalir one. I might use that. Not that it makes a huge difference. And that's it. Any other last thoughts on this Faye channel? I'm glad we got a Faye channel because I was I was looking out for it. I was getting concerned that we wouldn't get one until August when they do Sea Whale 6. It's weird to think that Sea Whale 6 units aren't even that far away. Are people salty about Ascended Varenia? I guess that kind of makes sense if you were expecting a mythic hero. Cannot cannot stand her, one of the most annoying characters ever, oof. A little dry for a FA channel, yeah. There wasn't a lot of big updates. As far as gameplay goes, the only big update was Chaos Season, and that isn't even for a couple weeks. I think that's it for me. Let me know in the comments if you're going to pull on this new banner. Let me know what you think of the FA channel. If you're disappointed or not. Uh, why is everything lopsided now? Oh well. Oh right, because I have to do uh, that. But yeah, we're heading out anyway. Uh, have a good night, guys.